As promised, we told you that you're going to be able to come cook with us. Yes. And today we're cooking some curry goats made by this man right here, an amazing curry goat, the best that you can actually ever have. That's That was my best one, to be honest with you guys. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, it was. It's, it's a two day process. You could do it in one day, but if you wanted to have all that flavor intact with it, I would take the two day process. So that's the one I'm going to explain for today. We're gonna go into the seasonings. Just remember, for all the real Jamaicans out there, I'll give you a disclaimer. This is not the authentic, exact way you're supposed to do it. I like to put a spin on food when I cook it. I think it's okay. There's many different cultures out there. And if there's something that you like particular from your culture, don't be ashamed to try something new. Spice it up a little bit. Who knows what you'll come up with? We've tried and experiment with yep. so many different foods and for the most part, it came out pretty good. Yeah, no? yeah. And as you guys may know, we come from like a very uh, different backgrounds. So we try to like combine them all together. Brazil, Jamaica, Cameroon, England. So we try and to Canada. get it all together and Canada yeah. as well. And whatever we like as well, like Indian food and exactly. all this type of food, we actually like buy uh, their own seasoning and add to our cooking. Yeah. So yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so for the dry seasonings, we will put some Mediterranean all-purpose in there. Yep. Just a little couple sprinkles, nothing crazy. We have also just the plain all-purpose seasoning as well that we sprinkle to it. Also a little bit of paprika. As well as some garlic powder. Also we have a little bit of Creole. You put some in there, just a little dab it in there. And that's just a little cheat cheat that he did with the Montreal Steakhouse. We know it's not a steak, but trust us, this bit. one little, is so good. Little, you know? Just a little sprink makes it a difference. Also, we like to use some of that black pepper, but the ground one, like the one you actually ground yourself. Yeah. I find that tastes a little bit better, in my opinion. And then that's, oh, the main ingredient, we almost forgot that. I don't know how you're gonna get curry goat without curry, curry. powder. This is my favorite one. You could find this one. This is the one to use. You yeah. sprinkle some on that, it would be great. Uh, next, we're gonna get into the what season is. We have the Worcestershire sauce. Don't pronounce it that well, but it's really good. Yep. We also have some Maggie seasoning, the liquid version of it, because I know there is so like, like the other two version. drops. Don't go crazy with that stuff. This yeah, because it gets salty. Yeah. Also, we have some soya sauce. And as well as some, just a little bit of jerk seasoning. I know, I know what you're gonna say, <laughs> but trust me, just a little bit. And you can put a little bit of this one in there too. A little bit of the Walker's Wood Jerk Seasoning. This is actually the best one. This is one of the ingredients I use when I'm making my uh, jerk chicken as well. Oh yeah. And this one, babe. Where'd you get that from? That's like a Trini... Um... Homemade pepper. Put a couple of sprinkles of that Just in there. And it's gonna bit. give you some good, good, good flavor. If you like a little bit, a little bit spicy, like hot, this is the best. It's very good. Then what you're gonna do is cut up a little bit of garlic. I would say a whole. Hold on a sec. I'll show you. And guys, don't forget that this seasoning we do it the day before cooking because it has to marinate for the whole night. So all the seasonings we're showing to you, you have to put it the day before. I would say take one of these, obviously cut it up, cut it around it. You take your hand, squeeze the individual cloves down, take a knife, cut it into fine pieces till it basically looks like this. And then you're gonna pour that on top of the uh, curry goat. Also, you take about half an onion, slice it up finely, put it on top of the goat. Now we're gonna show you what this is gonna look like right. before you get Start into the meal cooking for tomorrow so this is what it's gonna look like guys you're gonna take some stretch and seal and you're gonna put it over it you're gonna put it in your fridge leave it overnight and then the next day you're gonna get into the real deal cooking of some curry goat yum so now for day two what you're gonna need to do is cut up some garlic nice and finely like this 
I would say you use about half of this amount. Cut it up in fine pieces. You could use a little bit more if you like garlic. I like garlic. So then what you do is you take this garlic, you put it in a cup, like so. Obviously it's not all going into the cup, so you don't use those pieces, don't fall into the cup. <laughs> all right, so then now you take some of that same curry powder, you pour it into the cup. I would say, a quarter of the way maybe not even that much just to show you what it looks like it'll look like this about this much in here it's about up to here on the cup right and then you pour some water in it i would fill it up to okay, right? can you pass me a spoon my love all right so then you just mix it up like so So it looks like this. Now the next thing we're gonna do, which is very important, is we're gonna take this curry and we're gonna burn it down. So basically it breaks down the powder, gives it a nice paste that marinates the, ch the goat even further. So I was gonna say chicken, I don't know, I like chicken. <laughs> but anyways, you're gonna marinate the goat even further. So I'll show you the process right now. So now you heat up the stove on high you could take some extra virgin olive oil if you're trying to be a little bit health conscious. Pour it inside, like so. You don't want too much in it because you don't want it to be oily per se. So you let it burn. Once it gets really hot, you're going to take that same cup, stir it up a little bit more. Then, voila. That's a, that's a good sound. That's the sound you want to hear. Could I have uh, something to store all this with my babe? So you just stir it up, stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. And it's gonna take a while. It's gonna be a lot of stirring. So let's give it some time, let it burn out. I know it's hard to see, but it's gonna look like this, kind of like a paste. Once it gets to that point, you're good to go to the next part, which is just throwing the goat inside. We're also gonna use a pressure cooker, guys, after this. So this right there, I'm basically like searing it, I would say. So I'm searing the outside to make the flavors kind of stick inside. So what you do, you're just gonna keep spinning it around, try to get all of the go to touch the bottom. You don't really even need to put any water or anything at this point because you're gonna be using a pressure cooker to speed it up. If you would like to cook it the long way, what you can easily do is uh, keep filling it with water and boil it down. It's gonna take way longer using a pressure cooker. Some people could use it from the beginning to the end, but I find it has more flavor when you sear it. So you do this for a while, and then we'll show you what to do for the final part. All right guys, so this is what it's gonna look like once it's boiled down. At this point, it's not really edible. You can actually burn it down a little bit more, but to me, I feel like I stirred it well enough. So we're now we're gonna take it to the pressure cooker where my beautiful queen that actually knows how to operate the pressure cooker is gonna take over from here. So hey guys, now I'm taking over with the pressure cooker. This is the pressure cooker that we have. It's an instant pot. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, you can find it anywhere pretty much. Uh, it's a very good one. So yeah, it's simple. So we just pour beautifully like this. What my handsome hubby did. And uh, we're just gonna press it. We're just gonna put some water in it first. So they can give me some a cup with water. Okay. One cup is fine. If you have something to measure the cup like this, it's good. If you don't, just a cup, it's fine. Just like that. 
because of the quantity that we have it's a bit a lot so i'm gonna put three cups Okay, perfect. We're just gonna stir it a little bit more. Like this, make sure all the meat is inside of the water. We're gonna close it. You're gonna seal it. And then there is just a button that you're going to press that just says meat. Simple as that. It's set for 30 minutes, but really uh, it's usually 45 minutes. But I like to look, uh, to look at it 30 minutes after, 15 minutes after. And then it just sets by itself, just like it, it turned on. So you're just going to leave it for 30 minutes and take a look. And here, guys, it's ready. I, it actually took me 45 minutes to do it. So we're just gonna vent it, I already vented. I'm gonna open it and this is how it's supposed to look like. Look how beautiful it is. Beautiful, beautiful. So thank you Insta family for coming on this journey with us. We've reached our final destination. I'm about to put on some weight. Yep. Eat some good food and you know how much I love my juice. So cheers. cheers. And we'll speak again very shortly. Take care, everybody. Bye.